Ugh. The travel nightmare is over. Finally in my hotel room. Chelsea's there in bed lazily. <laughs> yeah, this is my fucking room, bitch. Yeah, motherfucking Marriott, bitch. Got a fucking good view of this construction site over here. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. The motherfuckers, they ain't doing construction right now, but, but I might catch them doing some later. Maybe that crane will topple over and fucking kill a bunch of people and I'll get it all on tape. Who knows, might get lucky. Yo, I'm TJ. You know that. Um, I'm high as fuck. <laughs> Uh, whoa, I can't, I need to learn how to control my camera. Um, anyway, I'm in my hotel room, and, uh, I just ordered room service, and, um, <laughs> I call and I'm like, okay, I want a jumbo shrimp cocktail, all right, I want spaghetti and meatballs, and I want fish and chips, now this is for me and my girlfriend Chelsea, and I say, oh, you know, what, what drinks you guys have? And they're like, we got Coke products. I'm like, okay, I want a Coke and a Sprite. I, I, said, I, I said I want a Coke, and I'm like, hey, Chelsea, what do you want? She's like, Sprite, and I tell the guy, Sprite. That's important. Remember that. Fucking. Then the guy's like, I lied. We have Pepsi products. I'm like, okay, okay. Well, then that's a Pepsi and a fucking uh, Sierra Mist. He's like, okay, is this order for one person or two? First of all, I mean, I know I'm a fat fuck, but I've never ordered an appetizer and two entrees. Okay? I'm just saying. I mean, like, I'm fat, but I ain't that fat. And it's not like he could even see me. I don't think I sound that fat on the phone. <laughs> But also, like, did you miss out on the fact that I fucking asked somebody in the middle of the fucking call what they wanted to drink? Was that not a fucking clue that maybe there was someone else here? I mean, like, Jesus. Dude, it doesn't take Sherlock Holmes to figure out that when someone fucking calls and orders an appetizer and two entrees and they ask someone else in the fucking middle of the call what they want to drink and then relay that order back to you. I think it's a safe assumption that it's two people, okay? Now, in all fairness, maybe this is, this is Seattle, so maybe there's a lot of people going around with the munchies who order, like, two entrees or something. But I'm high as shit, and I didn't order fucking two entrees, so fuck them. Greedy fucks is what they are. All right, so fucking, um, I want to show people my hats. This is the hats I packed. So first, we have this hat. This hat was given to me by a fat dude, really fat, who um, spoke French and he was from Canada. And after the meetup, he hit on my girlfriend. <laughs> so, but I got his hat, so fuck him. Um, and he was a teacher, and he apologized to me for, like, all the shitty teachers I had in my life. <laughs> like, you apologize for all my, the shitty teachers, and then after the meetup, you're like, I think your girlfriend is my soulmate! Uh, no. Retard. Anyway, I got your hat, so fuck you. This is my fedora. I pretty much own this one. 100% completely just a troll feminist, because... Before I ever have, had even worn a fedora once in my life, people were always calling me a fedora-wearing dude bro or neck beard or whatever, so I'm like, fuck it. I'll, I'll. It's like every time someone tries to fucking make some bullshit stick to me, like, you're a neck beard, it's like, yep, sure am. You're a shit lord, yep. You're an edge lord, yep. You wear a fedora. <sighs> That's oddly specific, <laughs> but sure. Here you go. I'm wearing a fucking fedora now. <laughs> This is my fucking Batman hat. I really like how it looks, but it's real tight on my fucking head, so I don't really wear it a lot, because it does cut off circulation to my brain. And you see what little brain power I'm fucking working with on a daily basis anyway. So, there's that. That was also given to me by someone at a meetup. 
this hat right here, this motherfucking hat, uh, this hat I bought from a drunken peasants fan at a meetup. Uh, this hat, I think I paid 30 pounds for this hat, which is, I don't know, something like $45, $50. Uh, at least at the time, I think that's about what it was. Uh, yeah, I believe it would be about $45. Uh, but yeah, so that's, this hat is obviously not worth $45. Um, but it was the principal thing because the guy really, he did not want to part with this hat. Like, this hat had emotional value to him. And I just wanted, it was, it was clear that, like, no amount really made him want to give it to me. But I knew that at cer a certain point, there would just be enormous pressure for him to sell it because it's just, like, such a ludicrous offer. And I did get it. And it, I, the reason I bought it was actually because it kind of looks like a Nostalgia Critics hat, and I kind of want to do this uh, Nostalgia Critic fucking uh, parody video. I've been planning it for like three years, and I've d done nothing towards it, so you'll probably never see it. It'll probably never happen. Um, this was sent to me by a Drunken Peasants fan. This is a Marilyn Manson uh, beanie, or whatever the fuck this is called. Um... I don't wear this one too much right now because it's uh, pretty, like, it's summer, so, you know, my head is sweaty under normal conditions. Wearing this is not going to help. And then, uh, finally, Chelsea's favorite. This was just recently sent to me. This is a WrestleMania uh, <laughs> beanie, skull cap, whatever the fuck. Yeah, and it's kind of camo and shit, which is not really my style, usually, but, uh, I don't know, I kind of dig it. I especially like it when I wear my sunglasses. Chelsea said it makes me look like I ride motorcycles, which I initially took as a compliment, but then I realized that she doesn't like people who ride motorcycles, so it wasn't a compliment at all. Uh, yeah, that's, that's my hats. I feel like that's important. And, uh, I feel like it's also important point out that I felt the need to pack all of these hats for this week-long trip. Uh, so I'm here for seven or eight days and I have six hats. So I need one or two more and that's a hat for every day. I wore the fedora today so tomorrow it's probably going to be this ugly son of a bitch. Well I don't even know. Maybe I won't wear a hat tomorrow. We'll see. I don't know. <sighs> hey, Hi. Chelsea, what's up? What's going on, TJ? Uh, I'm just trying to trim my nose hairs a little bit. Yeah. Uh, it tickles so bad when I do this. Is it like spin? I don't know. I don't know what it's doing in there. All right, let's see it. <sighs> oh God, that's fucking. Ah! <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Ah. Oh, my God. What the fuck? Whew. <sighs> oh, I can barely <laughs> touch myself with this fucking thing. All right. I'm just going to put it in. Turn it off. I'll turn it off when it's already in. <sighs> oh, God. like this at all. Oh god, fucking Jesus. I can't even use this What's fucking thing. What does it feel like? It just, like, it feels insane. It feels fucking insane. Oh, I'm crying. <laughs> Tears just fucking pouring out of my fucking eyes. Why? Oh god. I can't even fucking use this. Oh god. Just got to, like toughen up my nose, man. Okay. Ah. Uh... <laughs>
<laughs> that helps. You gotta squeeze your nose before you do it. Okay. Yeah, you go like this. Ah. Uh, mmm. Oh. Oh God. Let me see how fucking much progress I've made here. <laughs> Shit. Uh huh. Uh huh. Damn it. I can't get an angle down on this shit. How do I fucking. Uh, there you go. You still got some over there. Yeah. Oh shit. Uh, I don't like this. Ah. <sighs> Does it look better? Yeah. Is there still some in there? On this side now. Oh, God. <laughs> ah. Oh, fuck. Ah. How'd it look? <sighs> yeah? Well, yeah? Yeah. Oh, thank God. Don't, this is a torture device. <laughs> How do you turn it on? There's a button. A little... Turn it on. <laughs> oh, fuck, man. Torturing TJ by trimming nose hairs. It doesn't hurt, though, right? It doesn't hurt. It just feels, like, intensely ticklish in my fucking nose. Oh, Jesus. You still filming me? <coughs> Fuck. <coughs> oh, I'm just trying to look cool. <coughs> How was your shit, Chelsea? I didn't take a shit. How was your 12 hour shit? <laughs> it, was, it was hard. It was hard? Yeah. So am I. Oh, oh. yeah, bitch. Whatever. Will you stick your tongue on me? Yeah. What? What you gonna do about it? Stick it out again, I'll show you. That's what. It's TJ's head vision. I can only navigate through the camera. Why does it look so blurry? Because you don't have your glasses on. Yeah, give me my glasses. <laughs> yeah, I can judge better. Alright, I'll just put it here. This is where I need to be. I'm putting it right on my head. So everyone can see the world from my fucking perspective. I'm important. She just glue this fucking camera to my fucking head, dude. Isn't that like what Google Glass was supposed to be? What do you mean? Like a camera on your face? Yeah. I don't know. <coughs> I guess it was kind of... Why are you smoking weed in this hotel room, Chelsea? <coughs> That's against the law. <coughs> it's actually not against the law, but it's probably against the hotel's policies. Yeah, it does say that. Fuck them. Fuck you, hotel. You don't know what's what. You're garbage. The bartender watching you now, so... Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't think she's a narc, dude. Bartender here is cool. She's a cool lady. She my friend, kinda. Not really, but she gives me stuff for less money than I technically owe. Yeah, free. Yeah. <coughs> 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 oh my god, I nearly passed.
passed out. Uh, your tits look good. Why are you covering them? I just said they look good. I don't know. I felt self-conscious all of a sudden with your yeah. good-looking titties, didn't you? Yeah. I guess I didn't. Mm. TJ. All right. <laughs> what you doing down there? I'm talking to Mr. Repsian. Mr. Repsian? See, Daniel? No one calls you Daniel. You're Mr. <laughs> fucking Repsian for life, bitch. <laughs> fucking Mr. Repsian. A fucking crybaby faggot. Where is he anyway? Should he be visiting us? Should he be hanging out with us right now? Where are you at, Daniel? Repsian. Mr. Repsian! I was trying to be nice. Mr. Repsian! Yeah, bitch. Fucking the pinnacle of fucking sexiness, you know what I'm saying? Look at that shit. Look at that. Can't fucking deny it. It's one dapper motherfucker, bitch. Yeah. I'm just filming you. Okay. What's up? Nothing. <coughs> this thing still has a little juice left. Does it? <coughs> yep. So if you're wondering what's up with the footage of that homeless guy I took earlier, I've had several encounters with that guy. I've only been in Bellevue for... Let's see, I flew in on Thursday, so that's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and today's Monday, right? Yep. So I've been in Bellevue for five days, and I've already had four different encounters with this guy. The one that you viewed was the uh, fourth encounter. The first encounter was in the same place, it was in Jack in the Box. The second encounter, I don't remember where I saw him, I just remember I saw him again. Third encounter, he was standing on a street corner... I heard him before I saw him. I heard someone shout, Everything matters! And Chelsea was like, No, it doesn't. <laughs> and then I look forward, and it's that guy, and he's standing on the street corner, and he's saying something to me, but he's talking in a, like, a very like low conversational voice, so I can't really hear him until I'm right next to him. And then he says to me, Lou Diamond Phillips, Michael Moore. I'm like, Okay then. Well, I'm going to keep on going. Actually, what I said to him was, no, wrong. And I kept going. And, uh, you know, I was like, man, I hope I see him again so I can film him. And then I did. And that was, uh, that was me filming him so you guys have an idea what he looked like. <laughs> TJ. Uh, TJ. Uh, <laughs> How do you feel? Man. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna steal my bracelet. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh. Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> what? What? Stop jiggling me. <laughs> what do you want? Ow. Go away. <laughs> yeah. Why is Ben even here? Stop it. <laughs> <sighs> 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 
fuck are they? <laughs> uh, you took them off, like, over there. Where? Get them. Why? There's money in there. There's so much money. I don't think so. If there's not, then we're fucked because there's fucking money from the rents in there. I went to a cat. I got a cashier's check out of the bank. Oh, you did? If it's not there, we're fucked, dude. <laughs> Where is it? Hold on. Which pants are you wearing? Whatever I was wearing, I don't fucking know. <laughs> you think it's in your wallet? It's not in a wallet, it's in an envelope. Okay. An envelope? It's gotta be in the envelope. I do see an envelope. Is it in the envelope? Because if it's not, it's no good. <laughs> what if it's not in the envelope? What happens if it's not in the envelope? Don't fuck it up. Hi, the are you, are you satisfied? <laughs> Don't let that happen. Nothing. <laughs> hi, hi, Captain. Can't do nothing if that's not a thing. Yeah. Hey. Okay. <laughs> Who's in my arm? <laughs> Seattle. I don't know. I guess uh, it probably seems from the video like we never left this fucking room because uh, I don't think we took the camera out very much, if at all. But um, I assure you we did do stuff and I have found uh, a house out here. Ben has found a house out here and uh, when we come back to move we're going to find an office space out here to shoot the drunken peasants. So... Should be a pretty good little change for our lives, hopefully. Chelsea's an SJW now, by the way. Did you guys see that? I don't know if she filmed Dad. herself. What? What? You're, it's far away. They can't see your uh, whatever crap you put on your face to do whatever. <laughs> but her hair, I don't know if you could tell, it's blue. It it's like super blue. Yeah, her skin is blue too. She's turning into a Smurf. Pretty crazy. But um, yeah, had a fun trip. 
I got way too drunk yesterday. Uh, I got fucking um, told off by a stripper. I uh, I apparently was was screaming in the back of the car. I guess Ben was whipping me with wet towels. I went in that uh, this place called Sky City, which is the um, rotating restaurant inside the Space Needle, and I was so fucking drunk there. I was like falling, I was knocking over my drink, I mean I was yelling and screaming I guess. So I'm surprised I didn't get kicked out, but I didn't. I guess they figure my, my drunken money spends as well as anybody's. But yeah. Oh, and Chelsea said the waitress there hated me. So I wasn't doing well yesterday with the ladies, you know. Uh, even, you know, wait, wait, waitresses and strippers, people who are paid to fucking pretend to like you. I couldn't even get them to like me. How does Chelsea put up with me? That's the real question. Yeah, uh, the stripper situation was especially weird, though, because she came up to uh, me and Ben, because we were in the strip club, uh, Deja Vu, over in uh, Seattle, which later I read some reviews online, and apparently it has uh, kind of a reputation of being a shitty strip club with, like, stupid, mean girls and all this. So I guess I don't feel too bad about it, because uh, apparently they're just cunts there. But she comes up to me and Ben and she's like, uh, want to lap dance and stuff? And Ben's like, no thank you, because he's drunk and high and probably other things, I don't know. And, um, and then I was like, well, how much is it? And she like says it's $40. I'm like, okay, well, give me a spin. Because I want to, you know, She's like, what? Give me, just give me, okay. She's like trying to take me back there. I know, I don't mean, I don't mean give me a spin like, let's do it. I mean, give me a spin like, spin around so I can see what you're fucking working with. And uh, she does, and I'm like, no thank you. And I do that hand gesture, which this hand gesture, people don't like it. People don't like when I'm like, I dismiss you. But that's how I feel. I feel like I'm a king, I'm a lord, and uh, everyone around me is just peasants, uh, you know. So then she goes, she says, you're really rude. And I thought that was going to be it. I thought she was just going to say, you're really rude, and walk away. Which, that alone would be like, eh, whatever, fine. But she's like, you're really rude, and you're fat, and you're ugly, and you got a scraggly beard. And honestly, the scraggly beard thing upset me more than anything. Because, I mean, look at this. It's not, it's not that scraggly. Maybe a little bit. I mean, maybe the, the mustache needs a bit of a trim. But it's not a fucking scraggly beard, you fucking bitch, okay? Fat, ugly, rude, I'll give you those. I'll give you those. But you know what? If I go to a strip club, I'm paying to have bitches lie to me and act like I'm not fat, ugly, or rude. You know, that's the whole purpose of a strip club, for fat, ugly, rude, piece of shit guys to go and then fucking girls to be like, Oh, you're so charming, you know? So, you're terrible at your fucking job, you're the worst fucking stripper ever, I hope you get hit by a truck and die. That's all I'm saying. Um, Chelsea, what other bullshit did I get into yesterday? You were just talking about all the shit I was doing. Yeah, you were like moaning a lot and like Ben kept asking me if those were the sounds you make when I blow you. Really? <laughs> yes. Were they? Uh, some of them. Some of them? <laughs> but a lot of it was like weird snoring and like i don't know weird snoring yeah like i never heard you snore like that before wow i got pretty fucked up i don't even know why because like me and ben usually if we drink together we'll drink about the same amount and he'll get like so fucked up that he like passes out and i'll be like i'm okay but like yesterday was the opposite we both drank, and Ben, ben was... Ben was pretty fucked up. No, he was fucked up, but he wasn't, like, passing out like me. No. Okay, we were at this super nice restaurant, and by the end of it, both of you had your heads on the table. Just like, let us die. Yeah. Let us die. Oh, So, we had fun times, though. Kind of wish I hadn't gotten as drunk. I probably still would have gotten drunk, but I got a little more drunk than I wanted to. But live and learn, you know? Live and fucking learn.